I'm going to do a little like what I eat in a day. Holy crap balls. Out of everything that I've shown you guys, this is the number one recommended Whole30 food. So it's gonna be like a little glimpse of cheese again. Here's what I'm eating today. Probably the fastest thing I've made cooking wise so far. Good morning everyone. That's a little, it's a little too bright. There we go, that's better. Wanted to come into the bathroom because one, I have this in my head and I feel like I look like a wreck a lot of my vlogs and I kind of just, I don't know, I want to show that I do get ready sometimes. But I want to come on here and update you guys because today officially marks one week that I've been on Whole30. Wait, one week? Two weeks. Two weeks weeks so i just wanted to share with you guys like where i was at in the journey so far what i'm struggling with what i'm not all the jazz but in the morning i feel really really good if i have breakfast i feel good for the pretty much the entire day if i don't have breakfast i have a little bit of a harder time during work i have a really really easy time i think mostly because like i'm distracted i'm doing things and I'm not really focusing in on like, oh, I want this, this, and this. After I come home from work, I usually cook and then make dinner. In the past, in the afternoon times is when I binge. Also, weekends are really, really difficult for me. This weekend, I've just been by myself at home, but like the cravings are real. The cravings just haven't really gone away fully. And I think because I've literally eaten like crap my entire life, it's just something that's always gonna be ingrained in my mind they're there like i want cake i keep watching cake videos like if i can't eat it let me just like appreciate the beauty i will say the biggest craving that i have out of every single thing including sugar which is surprising to me i am craving bread and wheat so much like i just want a piece of bread that's kind of where i'm at with cravings and how my days are going i've been having kind of like on and off days like some days I feel really energized and really good and then other days I don't feel great. And I've heard like up to two weeks is like the hardest period and the last two weeks are the easiest. And we're here. I'm so proud of us. Okay, I'm gonna brush my teeth real quick. Okay, we brushed the teeth. Chase is here. I'm updating the vlog on my whole 30 experience so far being at two weeks now. Okay. Overall, I feel good. I feel like some of my brain fog has lifted. I think it comes kind of in waves because I can like remember things a little easier, which is just like, oh shoot, I kind of like that. But I guess it's also not as like pinpoint sharp as I was hoping it would be. I think I've been in a happier mood too. I haven't been like super sad because I used to have like waves and I feel like so far the last two weeks I've been in a pretty good mood besides when I'm hungry and I'm like food. Anyway, I don't want to ramble too much, but I just want to give the update because it's important. Okay, see you guys soon. So I wanted to show you guys, I actually made chicken salad, buffalo, buffalo ranch chicken salad. And I really liked it. I am eating it with like a salad, but it's really good. I'll leave the recipe below. Lettuce to it. Hello you guys, it is currently Thursday, April 18th, so we are 18 days in to the Whole30 challenge. Honestly, today was really rough. I didn't eat breakfast this morning and I had kind of like a simple dinner last night. You girl was struggling. Oh my gosh, I was like so tired, no energy, dead, honestly dead. Like I came home and slapped my butt on the couch and just read for like two hours. I was like, no one can make me move right now. But after I ate a little bit I um, felt better so now I'm actually cooking I decided to make something different that I haven't made before I'm making salmon patties I was having the hardest time getting the salmon can open like it was the death of me but I ended up getting it also I just had the best discovery in the entire world I went to Harris Teeter to find just some like eggs and I wanted to see if they had like the chips that I like because I was running out not only did they have the brand that we love here doing whole 30 but they had a bunch of different flavors and I am so excited to try these they had chili lime they had sea salt and vinegar 
They had Chipotle barbecue and nacho. So it's gonna be like a little glimpse of cheese again. I checked the ingredients and it is still Whole30 approved. I'm gonna do a YouTube reel as well as a TikTok on that. So go check that out if you're curious what the best one is, what they taste like, all the fun things. But guys, honestly, I, <laughs> I'm kind of having a hard time. I'm 18 days in, as I said, and when I tell you I've had dreams about sugar, I'm not kidding, and it's sad to say that. It's so sad, but I have had dreams about eating dessert again. Every single time I eat it afterwards, I feel so bad about myself. Like, I'm like, oh my God, I broke it. And then I wake up and it's not real. I'm like, thank God. But it's like been wearing at my mental health. I'm like, I have just been daydreaming about sugar. So I'm so excited to like stop and like be able to like eat it again, but in moderation. Salmon patties. Oh, they're gonna fall. I don't like fish, so I'm a little nervous about this. I don't know. I don't know. Anyone try it? You like salmon? Yeah. Can you <laughs> bend down? It actually is pretty good. Yeah? Yeah. I feel like it's a texture thing for me. You could get like a bunch of those and wrap it and eat it have like a vehicle for it. I don't know. Maybe you just don't have as much of a crust on it on the outside as you want. I don't know, it's pretty crusty. You can see, if you can see, it's pretty crusty. Anyway, I'm glad I tried it. It was so easy to make. If you guys like salmon, I definitely recommend the salmon patties. Probably the fastest thing I've made cooking wise so far. Anyway, okay, um, that is all the updates that I have for you so far. This weekend, we are going to Chase's parents' house, which is like five hours away. So I think we're gonna go to a Mexican restaurant and I'll probably get like a fajita and then I'm gonna bring food as well. And I'm gonna go to the grocery store and kind of just like get things to make. I will update you guys when there is an update. Bye. Good morning, everybody. I am in the bestest mood. I am fully convinced that everybody needs to do this diet. I think my body has fully accustomed to all of this now because I feel so good. My brain fog is so gone. Like I have not felt this clear headed. I couldn't even, I mean, since I was a baby, since all these toxins weren't in my body, like I feel so good. And I had a really awesome thing happen yesterday and I wanted to share it with you guys. Obviously it has to do with the diet. <clears throat> I went to my friend's house last night and we watched a movie. And I'm really, really bad with names. I've always been really bad with names. I always have to write it down. So she first said the name, I didn't catch it. So at the end of the movie, I was like, what was the name of that again? And she told me. So I wrote it down in my phone because I always do that because I always forget. At the end of the night when I was in bed, I was like, shoot, what was the name of that movie? I knew it had something to do with Beauty and the Beast, but that was still a little foggy. And I was like, okay, let me try to remember. Immediately, guys, immediately, I was like, oh, it was like Beauty and the Beast and it was called Beastly with Vanessa Hudgens. And I was like, what? Like, the, would I tell you the smoothness of my brain and the quickness and the non-effort it took to remember. I'm literally getting emotional, oh my god. <laughs> it was so easy. I'm about to start my period. <laughs> just, just so you guys, I know that's TMI, but that's why I'm like so emotional right now. But I literally have not remembered something that easy in so long and it was so nice and refreshing. And I talked to Chase this morning and I was like, <laughs> It was the bad food, that's why I felt so dumb. It's crazy, guys, it's crazy. So like, if you suffer with like severe brain fog and you just think that you're an absolute idiot like I did, it might just be the food. It might just be the food you're eating. I can't, I'm, I'm an emotional wreck. I literally was going to get my brain scanned at one point. Like I was like, I need to scan my brain. Like something is going on with my brain to where I can't remember things. I would look around at everybody and like their thought processes and I knew that mine was different. I would know it for a short amount of time and then 
like long term, I'd forget it. And I remembered the name of this movie for the entire day so far, all of last night. Like I'm so proud of myself. Anyway, I'm rambling like a crazy person, but I just wanted to let you guys know that like just this, just that part of it, like is so worth it. And I'm now like full of energy, I'm happy. And it's day 24, so it's like the end of it that really starts to shine. Like the last week for me, like this last week has been really, really good. I'm going to do a little like what I eat in a day for you guys so you guys can see just like a full day of what I'm eating, especially now being this far into the diet. Like I know what I'm doing. I know what to eat. Good morning, beautiful people. It is the 27th of April. We are two days to being done with this diet. Holy crap balls. I am reintroducing on Monday the 29th instead of the 30th just because I have a bachelorette party on the weekend. An update on the last couple days because I updated you guys Wednesday and it's Saturday now. Wednesday, as you guys know, I was feeling good. I had no brain fog. I was loving life. Thursday, I still felt good. Yesterday, my brain fog started coming back and so I started looking at like, okay, what was I eating? The only thing different that I had was I had a sweet potato for the first time and I put almond butter and cinnamon on it and I don't know if that's what did it. Everything else was pretty normal. I did also use new dressing for a salad but that one was Whole30 approved. I mean all of the items were Whole30 approved so I'm not quite sure what did it. It might just be hormones because I am supposed to be starting the cycle soon. This might be way too much information, but I did notice it is running late, which I have an irregular period, so it might be just what my body's doing. Like it, it, it literally, it's been this late before and then it just starts randomly. So it might be that situation or it might be that I'm pregnant. Um, I'm hoping it's not that because I'm not ready for that. It might be the shock of my body. So right now I wanted to do a what I eat in a day for you guys. I'm gonna share like all the products and stuff too so that you guys know what's going on. So the only thing I've really been doing for breakfast lately is just bacon and eggs and then I'll have some fruit and usually like a little bit of apple juice or water with lemon. We're gonna turn this on. I don't know when this got messed up, but I just use 100% pure avocado oil. Drizzle that. Here is said bacon. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in. This is way too big for the pot, but bacon shrinks down. I do wanna show you guys the brand of bacon that I found that is literally perfect. It's called Carolina Bright Leaf. Look on the back of your bacon and make sure that there's no sugars and there's zero sugars added. Even if it says that, just make sure to look at the ingredients because there are some things that aren't classified as sugar, so they don't have to say that it's sugar, but it still uh, like spikes your blood sugar and like all of that kind of stuff. So this stuff tastes heavenly, okay? I literally had my cousin who does not do Whole30, and I was like, okay, I need you to taste this and to taste regular bacon. Could not tell the difference. Why buy the bacon with extra sugar when you can just get it without it? Anyway, that is my spiel. Next, I do pasture-raised eggs. It's good for the chickens and it's good for you. So usually I'll take two eggs, put them in a bowl, do like a salt, pepper, and garlic powder situation. Sometimes, honestly, I'll throw a little bit of Mrs. Dash in there. This is my best friend, okay? She is my best friend. up a banana and I have bacon. I also have lemon water and then I have this little uh, energy shot. It's from the brand So Good So You and it's the passion fruit flavor. This one is my favorite out of all of them. I've pretty much tried all of them at this point. But let's dig in. I used to like get tired of eggs pretty quickly but I think now that my taste buds have changed and then also like I season it to where I like it. It's The eggs are actually really good now. The bacon um, and then a banana. Mm, banana. Anyway, that is what I'm eating for breakfast. This is a pretty normal breakfast for me. It helps me get through my day so much. Like when I don't eat breakfast, I severely can tell. Okay guys, ignore the noise. My 
dishwasher is running, but it is now 2.46 and I'm starting to get a little hungry. I have dinner at 5.30 tonight with a friend, so we're also gonna get a little bit of like a going out and figuring out what we can eat. Literally, I'm gonna show you guys my favorite thing, the thing that got me through this challenge, how to make it, all the things. I also had my friend last night try it and she was like, these are literally amazing and I will be eating this. Like, wanna do Whole30 because of it. So, really all you really need to cook it is a potato and compatible ranch as well as hot sauce. Something a little bigger just so I get more out of it. Okay, so I'm going to be making some french fries. So all you really need to do is chop up the potato. You're going to cut it in half long ways and then you're going to cut it side like this. And then you're going to cut lengthwise. So once you cut up the potato, you're just going to put them in a bowl and we're going to season them. I usually season with Mrs. Dash salt and pepper. First put some olive oil on there. and then put them in the air fryer. So you're gonna put it on 390 for 10 minutes. Primal Kitchen Compatible Ranch and Frank's Red Hot. We're gonna throw in some cilantro as well as some green onion. So that's what it looks like right now. Obviously you can put this garnish on the top, but I kind of just like to go ahead and put it in there so I don't have to wait on the fries. I'm coming at y'all from the ground because the lighting is so much better here. This is what we have after everything is mixed together. If you do the Whole30 diet, okay? I know it's a big task. I know it's a lot of work. Just make this. Like if you make this, you can do it. Like I will make this even when I'm not on the diet. Out of everything that I've shown you guys, this is the number one recommended Whole30 food that I would tell you. Next stop, we are going to a place called Sea Level. It's a local Wilmington vegan restaurant. I'm just gonna show you the food and then I'll tell you guys about it a little later. We are back from Sea Level. I had a burger with vegan cheese, french fries and ranch. I asked for no ketchup because a lot of the times ketchup has sugar in it and I wasn't sure but I did get the mustard. I did get the pickle on it because some pickles have sugars in it, but I was just like, I think it'll be fine. <laughs> so I took a few bites of it and I realized I forgot to ask for a gluten-free bun um, because in my mind I was like, I'm just gonna take off the buns. I cut it in half and I ate a few bites of the bun and then I was like, crap, so I took it off. So I did eat a little bit of wheat today, a little, a little bit, but I have tomorrow to like detox again and then I start reintroducing again on the 29th. What are vegan burgers made out of? Cause I didn't even think about that. Cause I can have meat, right? I can have burgers. So I was like, oh my God, a burger. But I went to a vegan restaurant. It's a vegan burger. And my stomach hurts. <laughs> Is it made out of beans? Are you telling me it's made out of beans? Is it made out of beans? I... Okay, so I'm I'm definitely not supposed to have it. It says Impossible Burgers are not Whole30 compliant because they contain soy, protein, isolate. It's not, it also isn't compliant because most of its products contain rice protein or flour and some contain gluten. So, I don't know if they're made out of beans or not but they definitely have soy in them, and I'm not supposed to have soy, so I screwed up. We're not perfect. <laughs> this whole thing is an experiment. I, I told Chase that he was like, this is like the healthiest cheat day you've ever had in your life. I'm like, I know, but like, I did have that whole burger, and I had some fries. <laughs> but I can have potatoes, but I don't know what they fry the, the fries with, so that also might be a reason my stomach hurts. This is the only two things. They also had queso and chips and I did not eat that because I can't have corn and those are corn chips. Bright side to us cheating on our diet today by a complete accident is one, this is our first attempt at doing Whole30. It happens, this is the learning process. And also it shows that like going out to restaurants on this diet is very difficult. I highly recommend just to cook. Second, my reintroduction starts on Monday and it's Saturday. So I have Sunday to get back into it and that's how the reintroduction process is supposed to happen. You're supposed to have something, wait a day, and then have something again. So I'm still able to 
basically so my reintroduction started earlier than I wanted it to so it's the 27th instead of the 30th so that's three days before even though it's not the official reintroduction but it is a slip up so the full reintroduction is going to start on the 29th also if that patty was made out of beans I also had legumes oh my god I don't know what the patty is made of. I cannot believe I didn't think about what the patty was made out of. I told Chase I should have had the chicken, and he's like, yeah, but it's vegan, so like it wasn't even chicken. I was like, shoot. I didn't even think. I was just thinking about the cheese. I could have the cheese because it wasn't the dairy. I didn't think about the meat. It was so yummy. I want to go back. <laughs> I'm happy it happened. I'm happy it happened because you guys can see I'm not perfect. <laughs> I think it's kind of funny, so I wanted to share. Completely messed up tonight. Completely broke my diet by complete accident. Have one more day until reintroduction. So tomorrow we will absolutely get back on the diet. No cheating. Monday we'll start the reintroduction. So I will see you guys then.